Yo, it's your boy Jabril, AKA Mr. Think Outside the Box. And Panama is a very special place to me. I've been coming here since 2011. And when I first came down, I just was like, wow, this place is amazing. I want to share it with the world. So I created these little, like, pretty much ghetto videos with my little, like, two, three hundred dollar camera by myself, shaky footage, and um, made a video on Panama, made another video in Boca del Toros. But people were like, wow, this is what Panama is like. And then um, I came back again in 2014. It's me, my brother Fufu, and Dan. And we created another video about Panama City. And the response that we got to that video was, it was incredible. Like, it all, well, not even almost. It went viral, you know, within Panama and then also the world. And so we'd be outside and people in the streets coming up saying, thank you so much for making this video. And also, so not only, you know, regular people, but some of the most influential people in Panama, like hotel owners, Panamanian celebrities. I was like, yo, I've never felt this type of love before from you know anyone but we did put a lot of work into that video and so I, my love for the latino culture and you know the latino people is no secret you know i've been all over latin america but panama like it's a special place for me because this is like pretty much my first place that i've ever been to really experience you know the the latino culture i know it's vastly different you know so many different places and so, you know, it's been a couple years since my last visit to Panama, so I was like itching to get back. And then so there was like an open week in the schedule, so me, uh, Maria, and JP, uh, we took a trip to Panama. And so I gotta give you a little recap, because you're gonna be seeing this beautiful girl running around in this video. And so when I was in Panama in 2014, um, there was this girl walking down the beach and then she was walking with like her brand new puppy and yes it's kind of like a movie right and then so I'm just like yo I might not never see her again I gotta take the opportunity to at least say hello and then so I'm like hey yo my name is Jabril how you doing and then so we exchanged information and this was in Playa of Anau like if you're into surfing you obviously know where Playa of Anau is um, in Panama and so we're at like El Sitio but then she was leaving like in a few hours. I was like, ah, oh. so that's how we initially connected and we kind of kept in touch. But fast forward three years later, you know, she's in Panama, we're coming there. And then so she offered to show us around. So that's how I met Carrie, if you're wondering how the whole, you know, friendship started. And then I want to just give you a quick 411 on Panama if you don't know anything about this amazing country and specifically here in Panama City. Panama has, you know, a really good economy. They use the US dollar and it's very, very developed. Like if you see like their downtown area, it looks like you could be in Miami or like New York. Crazy skyscrapers everywhere. Um, obviously you probably have heard about the Panama Canal and then you might have heard about Roberto Duran, one of the biggest boxers of all time. If you've seen that movie, The Hands of Stone, yes, that's who the movie's based on. But they have, um, in the country as a whole though, they have one of the most diverse landscapes um, pretty much in the entire world. If you want jungles, if you want some of the most beautiful beaches, if you want street, if you want kind of like that old school Latin feel, if you want countryside, if you want mountains, they have it all and most people don't know that about Panama. And then also, for Central America, it's the most developed place, you know, by far. And then like, I would say with like the exception of like Brazil, like below the border of like, um, you know, Mexico, this is pretty much the most developed place. And it's almost like the land of opportunity um, for like Northern Southern America and as well as Central America. So, you know, like I said, just a booming economy, very developed, um, you know, ecosystem, ecosystem. <laughs> We're not talking about the, um, just a very developed place. And so you'll find people from all over the world. And then also, yes, people do bring their money down here. That's another thing you might've heard uh, about Panama. But what I'm going to do is you're going to get to ride around with us for a week and kind of see what we get up to. So to start off my adventure, you know the boy was hungry. I probably love food too much. That's why I never hit my fitness goals. <laughs> And so um, I started off um, my trip with a, a trip to this Afro-Caribbean restaurant, one of the best in town. And then so there I met Carrie, I met Isaac, and then also Nunez. Carrie and Isaac are like world-class chefs. And I'm not just hyping that up. Like last month, you know, they went to Washington DC to cook for like congressmen, and they literally get flown out to prepare, you know, just some of the most amazing meals that you can imagine. And when I say like world-class places, so they're at like the Four Seasons, and like they're the 
special chefs, you know, for these places. Yo, and then one of the things for me is making sure I have a fresh cut. It's like a religion. The boy gotta stay fresh. Now, while I love all races, I don't trust white people touching my hair. <laughs> so when I get my hair cut in Panama, I go to Cinco de Mayo. And so I've been going there since like 2011. It's just so lively, you can feel the culture. And um, yeah, it's just vibes all around. And so I've been seeing the homies, like I said, since 2011. The prices are right, they're always playing music. You might hear someone like freestyling. And um, one of the things that people, you know, some of the things that people tell me, like from like more of like the downtown, they're like, ooh, be careful, you're going to Cinco de Mayo. It's kind of dangerous over there. I'm like, yo, man, I'm good. So basically, it's not quote unquote the safest place to be, but if you know how to maneuver, but put it like this, it's not like going to like the South Side of Chicago or nothing. Like, if you know, if you're just minding your business, doing your thing, um, you know, you are going to be fine. And so, you know, when you're rolling around uh, Cinco de Mayo, you're running to so many different places, and there's a bunch of places where you can kind of get traditional Panamanian goods. So if you want to find like indigenous people, you'll see some of their, you know, work, their art creation. You'll find a lot of locals where you can basically buy it directly from the source so if you want to support the local economy this is definitely one of the areas that you want to come and so it's not like being in like Punta Pacifica so just kind of be aware of your surroundings at night I don't really recommend going there too late at night but during the day as long as you're aware of your surroundings you know you are going to be fine and then so there's one thing that I love to do as much as I like to eat I like to exercise, so I rented um, this Airbnb right across from um, Cinta Costera. So there, this was like a government project that they put together to basically bring you know the community together, as well as having the community exercise. So on Sundays, they have the thing where they shut down like the whole street and people ride bicycles and all of this craziness. But during the week, you'll find people running all along um, Cinta Costera. But it's not only running; they've got basketball there. People are playing soccer. They're doing all different types of you know activities and all different people from all different you know classes come together to enjoy you know the parks exercise and uh, just have a good time and the amazing thing about this place it's like oceanfront so while you're taking a run doing all these amazing things you have a beautiful view of the city and then so while I'm talking about Santa Costera um, you know it goes down for like literally a couple miles and it goes past Casco Viejo and Casco Viejo is like the old part of Panama so if you want to you know they have like a downtown with the skyscrapers but then you have Casco Viejo which really has like that true Panamanian feel the architecture the people the way people are dressed it's amazing over there and so the thing that's changed about Casco Viejo especially in the last 10 years it's gone from one of the most dangerous areas in all of Panama to one of the most prosperous and um, you know rising areas in all of Panama. And now it has some of the most expensive real estate in the city. And so you have some of the best restaurants and I've got a few homies that have restaurants there. Then you have Donde Jose's which is like rated number one on TripAdvisor but it's a small intimate place so make sure you have a reservation if you go in there. You have Taco La Neta, some of the best tacos in town. And then, like I said, there's so many different restaurants that I could mention, but then you also have some of the best views in the city. So on top of this spot called um, Cantalo, they have this amazing view of the city. And downstairs, they have a restaurant, really good prices. But like I said, I could go on and on. You want to walk around Casco because you'll get to explore so many different sections of the city and you'll run into all different types of characters. If you want to buy goods, like I said, restaurants, it's all within um, Casco Viejo and you'll feel like you're quote unquote, well not even quote unquote, you'll feel like you're in the real Panama. So yes, I'm talking about running around Cinta Costera, walking around Costco, but I have a favorite way to see the city. And so one of the things I love to splurge on when I get to a city is a helicopter tour. And I've done them in maybe six or seven different cities and Panama is by far my favorite place to do it. Why? because literally you're gonna be in the jungle one minute and the next minute you're like weaving between high-rise buildings, you're getting to see old Panama and there's so many things that you're just like, wow, I didn't know how diverse just Panama City is um, by just going around in a car. And when you're up that high, you have a different appreciation you know, for the city. And so while I'm talking about views, there's a spot in the city that you have to go and that's Causeway Amador. It's on the other side of the city 
but the beautiful thing about it is you get a view of the entire Panama City when you're over there, right? Because it's on the other side um, of the city in the water. Well, the first thing that you're gonna notice when you roll up is this colorful ass building, and that's the Biodiversity Museum. And it's designed by no other than the legendary Frank Lear. And if you know anything about architects, that's all I need to say. He's basically like the Michael Jordan of architects. He has some crazy buildings in Chicago. And then like I said, I have so many friends in Panama City. Uh, one of my best friends in the city is my boy G. And so he owns pretty much the best production company inside of Panama. And so if people are coming down looking to shoot music videos or they're even shooting movies, they want to rent like a red camera. If you don't know what red camera is, these, like, these cameras go up to like $100,000 and stuff, right? And he has this crazy production house. And so when people come down there, they go see him. But um, enough about hyping up my boy G. I always love to see him. He loves basketball, we just vibe out. But if G's around, I know Mario is not far away. So Mario is pretty much the godfather of restaurants within Panama. Like this guy owns so many different restaurants within the city. You know, Taco Loneta, um, Cafe Unido. You have to get a Unido burger if you go there. They have the best coffee in town. And I want to say this, you might be like, all oh, of your friends are giving you free food. No, I've paid for every single coffee and I've paid for every single Unido burger that I've ever had. I just really vibe with the spot and I love it. I've had a Unido burger maybe 40, 50, you know, different times. There's this other place called Botanica Restaurant. The vibe and the food here is, is, is off the charts. And the meatballs, trust me, you will thank me later. And one thing that I can like kind of visualize about this place is like having Sunday brunch there. I don't know if they do it yet, um, but that's like one of my recommendations. So if you're not doing it, please have like Sunday brunch, include that, um, because that's just like the vibe that they have there. And then if you want to switch up the vibe, they have another restaurant, uh, which is called Sister House. If you want some more of that Afro-Caribbean vibe, this cool spot um, that you can hang out there. And then what makes this space so special, they have some of the best hot sauce in town. And then so after the hot sauce, you probably want to chill out a bit. And then so you got to get some amazing ice cream. And so the best ice cream in San Francisco is actually Karen's Ice Cream Parlor. So Carrie, I'm not just giving her a shout out, because, you know, she's my friend. Um, when I was hanging out with, uh, with Jay Matthews, who's also one of my good friends, I was, he didn't even know that I knew Kerry, and he's like, yo, bro, because he's now on the health chip, totally transformed, he's all swollen and stuff. He's like, yo, man, they've got some amazing ice cream. And it's, all, you know, it's all organic, so if you're a vegan, all natural you know, ingredients. And so he was hyping up the place without even knowing that I knew her. And so she's not only a model, um, you know, world-class chef, she's also an entrepreneur. And so that's one of the best ice cream parlors, if not um, the best ice cream in all of Panama. That's what people tell me without even knowing that I know her. And yo, I've been talking about food a lot in this video, but I got one more spot for you. If you want like the best fried fish in town, like literally the New York Times like wrote an article on this place, and so I've been seeing my man here since like 2014. I used to come here with my boy Javier and you know, a whole bunch of the crew. And so I came back uh, with Kerry to enjoy. And so what's happened with this area, it's, it's kind of like iffy, it's not the safest neighborhood in the world, um, but they have some of the best food and that, that neighborhood is also, you know, getting a lot better. I wouldn't recommend going there too late at night, but if you go there during the day, you know, you're good, no problem. But enough about food. Um, one of the things that I enjoy the most in the entire world is water. And I like the bluest of blue waters. And so one of the best islands, not only in Panama, but in the world, is Contadora. And so how do you get there from uh, Panama City? You can either take a boat, which takes a little bit over an hour, or you can like charter like a little plane. And so that's what we did cost about like, I think it was like 700 bucks or so. And so it's like $100 a person. And that's, you know, round trip. And that only takes us 20 minutes. So you're literally in Panama City to one of the most beautiful islands, like in the entire world within 20 minutes. And so we went there, the white sand beaches, the vibes, the music, the food on the city. We took the cool, and I was like, yo, this is what dreams are made of. I couldn't recommend, even if you're going for a quick day trip, or you spend a couple days, you cannot miss Contador because it's literally one of the best islands in the world and it's not too far you know, from Panama City. So you can't play all day, right? 
So a lot of people know that I have like a Facebook marketing agency, right? So you can't just play all day, you gotta work. So when I'm in my Airbnb, I'm still working and then it just looks like I play all day when I make these videos. But Panama is also known for being like a business capital within um, you know, the Central America region. They have a lot of world-class hotels and they have a lot of rooms. They have conference centers, they have good transportation. Uber there is, you know, it's off the hook. That's another good thing. Like, it's so cheap to take Uber, you know, within the city and hotel prices are pretty good. Like $100 a night or so, 130, 140 will get you a really nice four or even five star um, hotel. So one of the things people have been asking me, they're like, yo, Jabril, I see you traveling all around the world. You've been doing it nonstop for like seven years. How do you do it? And I was like, me, I have a Facebook social media marketing agency. But the way I do it is just one way. You know, I have friends who are like Instagrammers and they make like six figures doing Instagram. I have friends who blog. I have other friends who, you know, trade stocks. This, I have other friends who are in graphic design. And there's so many different ways. And, you know, the digital nomad trend where you work and you travel is getting bigger and bigger every day. So one of the things I've wanted to do is bring people together. And because of the connections and everything that I have in Panama and how much I love this city and how close it is, prox you know, proximity to, um, you know, America, I mean, North America, let me specify that. Um, I wanted to do an event here and bring people together so where they can learn, network, and come together with everyone in the digital nomad space because no one's really doing anything like that. And I thought Panama would be a great place. So what you're gonna wanna do, there's a link in the description and so, there's a place where you can kind of find out more information. I don't have you know, the dates and all the specific details, but once you go to the website, opt in, and then you'll, get on, you know, you'll be put on the waiting list, and then from there, you know, you'll get all the details when it's coming up. But if I'm estimating, it's probably gonna be in 2018. And I'm telling you, I can't <laughs> wait. So, um, but you know, enough about that. It's gonna be world class, it's gonna be awesome. We'll have a bunch of other cool activities, but anyways, Back to uh, um, Panama. I'm just looking forward to meeting a lot of you as well. But yeah, all I can say is like, I love this place so much because of the love you know that I've received and the whole passport heavy crew. And you know, I have so many friends here. Like I was talking about Jay Matos, we got Ana Perez, Kaya Sayete. Um, man, I know of Alejandro. Also, um, one of the coolest people that I've known, really made so many things happen for me uh, within the city. I know I'm forgetting a whole bunch of people, so I'm just gonna stop naming names now. And so, but that's what makes it special every time that I come to the city. And here's a cool thing that we also have. We have quite a few videos sitting in this stash, and I'm gonna be releasing those soon for you guys. So, Carnavales in Tablas, We'll be releasing that soon. Some of the top hotels in Panama. Pero, callate! Now, um, some of the best hotels, and a lot of activities, and some of the coolest things that I've done in Panama. Make sure you subscribe. Those will be dropping soon. All I gotta say is, thank you so much. Parima, que sopa. And then, like I do at the end of every video, Shout out to the man behind the camera right now, Mr. JP Salt Bay Poppy, um, for shooting and editing, you know, pretty much this whole video. Maria Marian for helping put this trip together. Carrie, I appreciate you showing us around the city and you know showing so much love. And everyone else who was a part of this video. And oh yeah, that man on the music, Isaiah McNeil. Thank you for everyone's always asking, where's that music come from? Yo, it's the man out in Jersey, Isaiah McNeil custom music for the Passport Heavy Squad. But yo, I'm out of here, and if you wanna hit any of us up, you'll see all our Instagrams, all our handles. Feel free, show that love, and when you see this video, only thing I ask, man, show that love. Pero, silencio, now, <laughs> interrupting the video. <laughs> Are you, you wanna come say hello? You can come back in the video now. <laughs> But no, I just say, you know, thank you for all the love. I'm out of here and make sure that you subscribe. We've got these videos coming plus so many others. And yo, I'm out of here. Peace.